All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So today I want to talk about the 1968 Mr. Olympia competition. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about this particular Olympia is because I recently made a video about the 1971 Mr. Olympia where Arnold Schwarzenegger competed uncontested, meaning all of the other competitors were disqualified, so Arnold was the only competitor that actually competed, so he's basically handed that title. So in 1968, we had a similar situation with Sergio Oliva. So Sergio Oliva actually competed completely uncontested in 1968. So the 1968 Olympia was held in Brooklyn, New York. It was the fourth Olympia ever held. And the reason that the other people didn't compete was number one, there was about three other competitors that were supposed to compete. The first competitor was Harold Poole. So Harold Poole was the first black IFBB Mr. America in 1964. So that was his claim to fame. And he was also a three-time runner-up at the Olympia. So he's a very good bodybuilder, a very good Olympia competitor, and probably would have been somewhat of a threat to Sergio Oliva's uh, title that year. And the reason that Harold Poole didn't compete was because he recently got a job promotion that prevented him from competing. He was too busy, and I believe he had to move, which prevented him from traveling to the Olympia. So Dave Draper, a.k.a. the Blonde Bomber, was also supposed to compete in the 1968 Mr. Olympia. But the reason that he couldn't compete was he was busy filming for a movie, so he did not show up that year either. And the third competitor that was supposed to compete was Chuck Sipes. Now, Chuck Sipes is a pretty legendary classic bodybuilder, and I've got a video about him coming up soon as well. Um, he actually won the Mr. America, the Mr. Universe, and the Mr. World title. So he basically had the trifecta of bodybuilding titles. But Weider actually told him not to compete because he actually wouldn't, because Weider thought he wouldn't be able to beat or even come close to Sergio Oliva, and basically said that Sergio Oliva was going to embarrass Chuck Sipes. So at the advice of Joe Weider, Chuck Sipes did not compete in the 1968 Olympia. So of course, Sergio showed up. And he won the competition uncontested. But in my personal opinion, I don't think it mattered if anyone showed up or not because Sergio Oliva was in such great shape and he brought such a great physique at the 1968 Mr. Olympia. None of those other three guys would have even came close to touching him, in my opinion. Harold Poole had a great physique. And like I said, he was a three-time runner-up. But I think in 1968, he didn't have a prayer or a shot at beating Sergio Oliva. So a lot of people will say, what about Arnold Schwarzenegger? Why didn't Arnold compete that year? So Arnold didn't compete in his first Mr. Olympia competition until 1969. So that is why Arnold wasn't there in 1968. So Sergio Oliva was five foot 10 and he weighed between 225 and 235 pounds on stage, which is a pretty big bodybuilder for 1968, especially when he only stood five foot 10. So he's most known for having, you know, really big arms, really big chest, and really small waist. He's just a really thick, muscular bodybuilder. And a lot of these other guys like Dave Draper and Chuck Sipes, they were a little bit smaller and a little bit more on the aesthetic side, while uh, Sergio Oliva was just a really big, thick, muscular, kind of an early era mass monster, you could say. He was just one of those big, massive guys, but he was also aesthetic at the same time, so that made him a deadly Mr. Olympia competitor. And Sergio Oliva would end up being a three-time Mr. Olympia champion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little bit about bodybuilding history. Please give the video a thumbs up. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.